Hello, my name is Greg Smith. I'm the National Retail Sales Manager for Dig Corporation. Today we're going to install this GD50 drip line watering kit to this yard, to this hedge area. And I'll show you exactly what it's used for because it runs off of a sprinkler riser as your watering source. Within this box includes an adapter to a sprinkler riser that connects to a one half inch pipe thread sprinkler riser. Then it has a pressure regulator that adjusts the pressure down to the proper pressure for the system to run. It's got a filter adapter to adapt from the regulator to the half inch poly tubing. And this poly tubing is drip lined. It's got a drip emitter built in every 18 inches. So it will automatically emit water every 18 inches around this hedge. Also included in this kit are stakes to attach the tubing to the ground. And lastly is the end cap fixture that prevents the water from shooting out the back. Most drip kits run off of a hose bib, which is hose thread. Today we're going to install it on this sprinkler riser. So right now the sprinkler is shooting into this hedge and is not effectively watering this area. So we're going to replace the sprinkler riser and that will convert the system over to pipe thread and then we'll be able to run it all the way around using the drip kit. Okay, you remove the sprinkler counterclockwise until it comes out. And we're gonna replace this pop-up sprinkler with this half-inch riser. And this is not included in the kit, but you can get this at any hardware store. This just screws down into where the sprinkler was. After you insert the six-inch riser, which is pipe thread, there's an adapter that is half-inch pipe thread by three-quarter inch male hose thread. This is an elbow. It just simply screws on top. Bring it around till it's tight and put it in the direction that you want to start your tubing. The next part is this 25 pound pressure regulator. This reduces your incoming pressure from your irrigation system down to 25 pounds, which is the proper operating pressure for a drip system. This just simply screws onto the adapter. Everything's just hand tight. So after you install the pressure regulator, there's an adapter with a filter that connects to the tubing. You simply press and walk it on. And when you can't pull it off, it's on. Then this just simply attaches to the regulator. And now you just run your tubing to your first corner. You're gonna cut the tubing where you wanna make the turn. To continue around a sharp bend like this, normally you could run this as a short radius but around a sharp corner like this, this is an optional elbow that you can get. This tubing goes down to here. Same routine, press the elbow on. Tubing going in this direction. Cut the tubing. Install the elbow. Install this elbow. And to complete the run, cut the tubing, install the end connection, insert your stakes. Okay, so after you attach the end cap, remove the cap and go turn the water on so you can flush out any debris that may be in the system. All right, after you run the system to flush it, reinstall the cap. And this will allow the system to be pressurized. And you can check for leaks at the corners. You can check for leaks at the connection. And then actually see the drippers functioning as well. All right, now that you've seen the simple installation of the GD50 drip line watering kit, if you have any questions, you can check out our website at www.digcorp.com. And don't forget, water matters. Thanks for watching.